This week in Michigan football history. Good afternoon on this glorious day for Michigan football. Tonight we'll face the University of Georgia for the third time in history and we split the previous meetings in 1957 and 1965. Despite both of these games being played at Michigan Stadium, interestingly enough, the Bulldogs wore their red home jerseys, no doubt creating a primary color buffet as the field was littered in red, blue, and maize. While this is Michigan's inaugural trip to the college football playoff, this is, of course, not our first time playing in the Orange Bowl. My favorite and yours is certainly our journey to Miami 21 years ago in a blockbuster matchup of historical college pigskin powerhouses. To ring in 2000, Lloyd Carr's number eight Wolverines faced the fifth-ranked Alabama Crimson Tide. Early on, things looked grim. With the running game plugged up, Unheralded quarterback Tom Brady took to the air and erased a pair of 14-point deficits. His favorite target was David Terrell, who all told snared three TDs from TB10. Michigan had a couple of chances to put the tide away late, including a last-second field goal. But Bama blocked Hayden Epstein's attempt at a game winner. So on the first day of the new millennium, Michigan entered into its first overtime game in program history. Thankfully, Tom Brady was a guy who could handle the pressure. And on the first play of the extra stanza, Michigan's cool QB tossed an absolute dime to tight end Sean Thompson for a 25-yard touchdown. Epstein added a critical extra point to give Michigan its first lead of the game at 35-28. to But it wasn't over, and Alabama struck right back, needing just two plays for QB Andrew Zhao to find Antonio Carter on a 21-yard TD strike. As Alabama lined up for the extra point, certainly it looked like the game would go to a second overtime. But Yost, Eufer, Chrysler were watching up in Michigan football's Valhalla as Alabama's kicker, Ryan Flugner, pushed the extra point wide right. And Michigan celebrated its first very glorious Orange Bowl title. Go Blue beat the dogs. Let's get back to Indy. And for more, check out mvictors.com and wtka.com for the Key Bank Countdown to kick off. This is Greg Dooley.